Hey guys, good morning here and lately you guys must have seen a lot of comparisons between the Helio P70 and the Snapdragon 660 telling you why the P70 is a better processor. Well, that's because Realme 3 is gonna come with the Helio P70 and the direct competition is the Redmi Note 7 with the Snapdragon 660. So Realme wants you to believe that the P70 is a better processor than the Snapdragon 660. But I personally think that that is not the case. It might be possible that the Snapdragon 660 is actually slightly better than the Helio P70. So today let's talk about that in this video and if you guys enjoy watching such videos then please hit the red subscribe button and also press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on more videos like these. On that note, let's get started. So the first argument that everyone brings up when they're comparing the P70 and the Snapdragon 660 is benchmark scores. Well honestly, I'm not a believer in benchmarks. I don't think benchmarks tell you the real world usage of a phone which is actually quite different and a lot of brands including Oppo and Realme have been caught cheating in the benchmarks. So I'm gonna link an article down below in the description box, you guys can read that but the bottom line is benchmarks are not reliable. But for the sake of this comparison, let's talk about the benchmarks. You guys must have seen the Helio P70 scores a lot more than the Snapdragon 660 but then majority of the times the Snapdragon 660 in this comparison is the underclocked Snapdragon 660. So the Zenfone Max Pro M2, the Realme 2 Pro, all of these phones get the underclocked Snapdragon 660 so it's not right to compare the underclocked 660 to the Helio P70. That's because the proper Snapdragon 660 runs on 2.2 GHz whereas all of these phones run on 1.9 GHz. So Mi A2 and Nokia 7 Plus are some of the phones that run on the proper 2.2 GHz Snapdragon 660. So if you guys compare the benchmark scores of those phones with the Realme U1, they are quite in line with each other. So the Redmi Note 7 is gonna come with that Snapdragon 660, the 2.2 GHz one, so I think the benchmark scores would be in line with Realme 3. But then like I said, the benchmarks don't tell you a real story, you have to see the real world performance of the phone. One reason why I feel that the Snapdragon 660 is better than the Helio P70 is the GPU. So the GPU on the Snapdragon 660 is better than the one on the Helio P70 and because of that, the gaming performance of Snapdragon 660 is better. Now you might argue that you are not a gamer, not everyone is a gamer, so they might be fine with a weaker GPU. Well, that's not the case because apart from gaming, the GPU is important in a lot of other cases. So even in day-to-day -day usage, when you're interacting with your phone, you're scrolling through your social media feeds, you're switching between apps, you're interacting through a lot of transitions, animations, windows, etc, etc. And all of that is being handled by the GPU on your phone. So if your GPU is weak, you might feel stuttering while browsing through the phone. You might see some lag when you're scrolling through your social media feeds. So that's why you need a strong GPU in your phone. Even if you're not a gamer, you just cannot say that you're fine with a weak GPU because it's going to be noticeable in day-to-day -day performance. So yeah, you need a strong GPU and that is where the Snapdragon 660 is better than the Helio P70. But then the Helio P70 does have some of its advantages as well. First of all, it's made on the 12 nanometer process as compared to the 14 nanometer on the Snapdragon 660. So as a result, it's going to be more power efficient as compared to the Snapdragon 660. So it might give you more battery life with a similar battery capacity. So let's say if you have two phones with 4000 mAh of battery, the Helio P70 might be better than the Snapdragon 660. I said might be because the battery life depends on a lot of other variables as well like the software optimization, the memory management, etc, etc. And one more reason why the Helio P70 might be better is that it has a dedicated hardware AI chip on it. Whereas on the Snapdragon 660, you've got a software engine from Qualcomm for AI. So yeah, basically the Helio P70 gets a dedicated hardware AI chip. So that might be useful in a lot of cases, especially with respect to the camera performance. But then having a feature hardware wise is one thing and implementing it in software is another thing. You guys must have seen the Realme U1 and the Realme 2 Pro. The camera performance was actually not that different and in fact the Realme 2 Pro was a bit better in terms of camera as compared to the U1. In spite of the U1 having a P70 chipset, in spite of the U1 having a dedicated hardware chip, the camera performance was better on the Realme 2 Pro and even on the Zenfone Max Pro M2 which has a Snapdragon 660. So having an AI chip is good, but is the company implementing it in their software? That is important. And talking about camera software, Realme still hasn't fixed their edge detection problem that has been going on since Realme 1. If you take a lot of selfies, the edge detection is really bad, especially in daylight. And in spite of the U1 having an AI chip, they still couldn't figure it out. And talking about software and support, the developmental support on the Qualcomm devices is a lot better than the MediaTek devices. For example, you can have Google camera on the Qualcomm chipsets, but then you cannot have Google camera on the MediaTek chipsets. Even if Realme 3 comes with camera to API enabled by default, you still cannot run Google camera on it. Unless some developer works hard enough to port the Google camera app on MediaTek devices. It has 
hasn't happened until now so i'm not sure if it's going to happen in the near future so yeah you've got more developmental support on qualcomm devices so that's the thing you can just not compare two phones or two processor by just their on paper specifications or their benchmark scores there is a lot that goes into making a good phone you have to see if the software is good you have to see if the software is optimized you have to see if the software is taking full advantages of all of the hardware features that the processor has etc etc so just by comparing spec sheets you cannot conclude that let's say Helio P70 is better than 660 or the Realme 3 is better than the Redmi Note 7 you have to wait until we have the devices in our hands and then we can get a real world comparison so that's what i have to say about this debate just don't mislead yourself by the on paper specifications and wait for the full device wait for the Realme 3 to launch wait for some videos between Realme 3 and the Redmi Note 7 and then make a call so what do you guys think about this debate do you actually think that the P70 is better than the Snapdragon 660 Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you found this video helpful then please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you guys don't miss out on my Realme 3 as well as my Redmi Note 7 content That's it for now thanks for watching and I'll be back in the notifications very very soon Be a smart consumer and don't believe the on paper benchmarks